So my group's topic is transgender visibility, and I chose to do my media review on The Death and Life of Marsha P. Johnson. It's a documentary on Netflix. So what I took from that documentary is that the transgender community has been left behind by the LGBTQ plus community as a whole. So my three points are that the LGBTQ plus community doesn't show up for important moments for the trans community. And without the work of transgender individuals, the LGBTQ plus community wouldn't be as far, wouldn't be where they are today. And finally, that trans women are the most vulnerable, but they're the most left behind. So for the first one, my quote is by Ted McGuire, and he said, This is a very important case. This place should be packed. The privileged people, they got their gay marriage, and now they're all, they're gone, and they've left the transgender community behind. Um... What I took from that is that the, the LGBTQ plus community as a whole doesn't show up for the trans community like the trans community did for the LGBTQ plus community when gay marriage was being legalized. Um, without, So my two quotes for my next point are that Sylvia Rivera is the mother of our movement and the second one is about Marsha P. Johnson. She was the Rosa Parks of the LGBT movement. So Sylvia and Marsha were both trans women of color and they started the riot at the Stonewall Inn that started the gay liberation movement. So who knows where we will be without them. And third, trans women are the most vulnerable, but they're the most left behind. So my quote for this one is, transgender women face the most severe violence of the LGBT community. But the marches for to get justice for them are very small, if there are any marches at all, compared to the marches that came out for um, same-sex marriage legalization. So in conclusion, the transgender community has felt the most backlash out of the LGBTQ plus community, but they're the ones that have gotten left behind by the overall community because they're still fighting for their rights. And even worse today, they're still fighting for their rights. And it seems like the LGBTQ plus community doesn't show up as much as they would for their own community. Um, so it's important for those that are vulnerable in society to be seen and allowed to share their experiences. And to be, sometimes if it's, if the, um, if in some cases it's important for those to be protected by those who are less at risk and less vulnerable. So the LGBTQ plus community hasn't done a good job project protecting their transgender, com their transgender members, and we have to do better for our trans community.